If you go hiking, most likely you have a hydration bladder that you use with your backpack. If you go on long trips or multi-day trips, most likely you have a 3 litre bladder that you can replenish. But there could be times when you go for small short trips and you don't need to carry a 3 litre bladder and maybe you don't even need to carry a backpack. I have a few hydration bladders that I bought from big adventure store brands. However, one of them leaked. The other two I don't use because the walls are too thin. And because the walls are so thin on the bladder, I don't trust them. So I searched for a rugged, reliable hydration bladder and came across the company Source. Source is a company in Israel. They make their products in Israel. They make hydration packs as well as hydration bladders. They supply products to the Israeli Defense Force and other armies in the world. So their products are few tested. I have the 3 litre Rider hydration pack which has the 3 litre WLPS low profile hydration bladder from Source. However, for short trips, I have also the Kangaroo pack. This is a 1 litre hydration pack and here is the 1 litre bladder. In this video, I'll talk through the features of the Kangaroo hydration pouch as well as the bladder. I will also talk you through a few of the optional accessories which can be useful. So join me in this video as I talk you through the Kangaroo pouch and features. This is the Kangaroo hydration pouch and bladder manufactured by Israeli company Source. It is made in Israel. The pouch is 21 centimeters tall by 19 centimeters wide. It has a 94 centimeter long hydration tube. As you can see, there's molly straps on the front, a lid secured by Velcro, and an elastic loop for the drinking hose to pass through. The drinking hose connects into the bladder on the back of the pouch. You have more molly straps and two belt straps. Later, I will explain where you would secure this pouch to. It comes in three colors, multi-cam, which this one is, coyote and black color. Let's open it up. To remove the drinking hose from the bladder, I will push on the gray tab of the Quick Mate technology and that will release the SQC source quick connect. Move the hose, put it one side, undo the cover. And um, you can see the inside. There's a sleeve with a hole that allows the drinking tube to access the QMT to mate with it. Pull out to remove the bladder. So this is a one liter bladder. And that is the QMT, Quick Mate Technology. When the bladder is full and you need to use the bladder to fill water to a container or if you want to drink from the cap, then there's a simple unlock mechanism just Turn anti-clockwise and pull and that unlocks the valve so that water will flow continuously out from that valve. I'll demonstrate that again. Turn anti-clockwise and pull and once you do that, water will free flow continuously from this valve. This design is similar to the storm valve which I will explain in detail later. To shut that valve now, push it in and turn it clockwise and that locks the valve, water will not flow. And then cap it. To fill the bladder with water, hold the tap and turn this lower body anti-clockwise. It's very simple. There. That unlocks it. Then hold this under a tap or water bottle and fill it. Once you've filled it, put the cap back. Turn it clockwise and it's done, it's locked. There are two technologies that Source has used in this product. The first is called glass-like film. So the internal surface of the bladder is smooth like glass and that stops the buildup of biofilm. The second is called grunge guard and that also inhibits the growth of bacteria. Grunge guard is used inside the bladder as well as in the inner tube to inhibit bacteria growth. This drinking hose is 94 centimeters long. The external weave fabric cover provides UV protection to the internal tube and it also provides heat insulation. This end which plugs into the QMT 
is called Source Quick Connect. All of Source hydration bladders come standard with the storm valve and it looks like this. I'll push on the grey tab to release the storm valve. Now I'll show you how you dismantle the storm valve. This is the dirt shoe, it stops dirt from collecting into the drinking mouthpiece, keeps it clean. It is attached to the storm valve with a little cord and to keep the dirt shoe from flopping around, I can pull the cord towards me and then lift it up and there's a narrower gap at the top and that restricts the cord from moving and it holds the dirt shield into position so it's not flopping around. How does the storm valve work? How do you drink from the storm valve? The storm valve has a lock mechanism. If you look at the brown body, there's a little pimple and on the green part, there is a notch. When the notch and the pimple are aligned, the valve is locked. I cannot pull it out. When I rotate this piece anti-clockwise, it is now in unlocked position, but water will still not flow out. To have water flow out, just pull it out. So once I pull out, water will flow continuously. This is a free flow. It is not a bite mouthpiece. Hence, the storm valve is useful when you need water to flow continuously, like if I'm cleaning a wound, or cleaning some equipment. To stop the water flow, push it back in and water flow is stopped. To have it flow again, just pull it out. And to lock the mouthpiece, turn it clockwise so that the notch and the pimple are aligned again and you can't pull it out, it's locked. All of source mouthpiece can be fully dismantled for easy cleaning. It is easier if I reconnect the hose, grip the QMT and grip the green portion because that section has to separate and twist. I'll do it again. Just twist and it separates. Now there are two pieces here. To remove it, there are two prongs. I just need to squeeze the prongs and pull it out. So that's what it looks like. I have close up photographs of these components to see later. Now I'll show you how you reassemble three parts of the mouthpiece. First of all, we get the piece of the prong and we insert it till you see the prong stick out and click there. Now all we do is we take the piece with the prong and we push this in. That's completed. The mouthpiece can be rotated 360 degrees in any direction and it will still work. So I replace the dirt shield and reconnect the storm valve to the QMT. Let's say that I fill the bladder with water and I want to put it back into the hydration pouch. Let's see how we do this. Slip it in there. Take the hose, take the SQC connector of the hose, put it through this elastic loop, lift the lid, put it above this sleeve, take the SQC and push and mate it into the QMT in the bladder until you hear a click and it's secured. That's it. So that's your kangaroo pouch and bladder. Let's say that my plan is to carry the day pack for a short hike and then when I get to my destination, put the pack down and take a little walk around the surrounds but still carry a hydration bladder with me. In that case, I may not want to carry a bulky 3 litre hydration bladder in the pack. I may just want to carry the 1 litre kangaroo pouch, hang it off the side from the molly webbing where I can use these straps to pass through the molly webbing, hang it off there wrapped around to the front of the shoulder harness where I can drink from it. And then when I get to the destination, undo the clips, remove the hydration bladder. To use the hydration bladder with me around the campsite where I'm not wearing the backpack, I can use the straps secure to my waist belt so it's hanging off the side. Then I use the velcro 
and secure the drinking hose so it's not flopping around and this way when I'm just walking around the camp I still have access to water without carrying a backpack let's talk about the hydration upgrade kit this kit includes the storm valve it includes the UTA which is the universal tube adapter it also includes the QMT quick mating technology we know about the storm valve already because it comes standard with any of source tacticals hydration bladders such as here so this can become a spare so the UTA looks like that it has a outlet tube that you connect to the hydration hose it has a valve and it has a flexible rubber adapter this is where you can push in the nose of a water bottle or push this up into a water tap as you know to fill water into the hydration bladder we can either remove the bladder completely from its hydration pack open the wide excess neck and fill water from the neck alternatively if you want to fill water without taking the bladder out the solution is to use the UTA you push to release the mouthpiece then you take the UTA you push in and mate it to the QMT with this in place you can push this into the neck of a water tap turn the tap on and it will fill the water bladder alternatively if you have a water bottle you can invert the water bottle push the neck of the water bottle into this nozzle water will flow into the bladder so this is a very useful adapter to allow you to quickly refill your water bladder without removing it from your pack now let's talk about the helix valve the helix valve looks like that push it in makes nicely it also has a dirt shield same thing to keep the dirt shield locked in position pull it tug it upwards and it stays there the way the helix works is different it's actually a bite valve it's not a pull valve there is still a lock mechanism to unlock the valve turn it anti-clockwise and you see that the valve moves outwards I'll show you again now the helix valve is unlocked water will not yet flow if you bite the mouthpiece water will flow so the helix valve will be more suited to users such as cyclists if you've been using the water bladder for a long time and you want to clean the hose just use the tube brush all you need to do is remove the uh, mouthpiece and um, push that in push the brush in fully extend it and clean it you can buy replacement sqc connectors if you have other hoses that you want to use the source tactical sqc system you can do that this kangaroo pouch is a unique water hydration pouch and bladder i think it gives flexibility to operators to use it either with a backpack or a ballistic vest a hunting vest or even just to wear it around a waist belt i do hope you found this video informative and enjoy it do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more and to help the channel grow thank you so much